What's happening guys, Peter Von Panda up here in Minneapolis. Well, this is a brand new hotel in Bloomington, Minnesota called The Home 2. Let's check it out. So here, the hallways are very red. Let's check out what the room looks like. All right, so I took a quick look at the room and I'm really impressed with it actually. So it's got this uh, kind of industrial finish that you might expect. It's nice and bright and airy. The walls are actually a little bit of a uh, sage-ish, yellowish, greenish color, which is kind of uh, fits the theme of the whole hotel, which is, I think, just a little bit more trendy and youthful. So right inside the door here, uh, we actually have this larger refrigerator. So I think this is all meant to kind of be a little bit of a longer term play. And I'm up here working for quite a while, so that makes a lot of sense. It also has a little bit of like a kitchenette here. And so we have some dishes and microwave, as well as glasses and cups. And then a coffee maker and sink and even a toaster. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure if there's stuff in here, but your cutlery. So you could actually kind of cook and keep everything that you need up here. In fact, you don't even have to wash in the sink. You get a dishwasher right here. Wow. So definitely amenities above and beyond the standard hotel room. Now this switch is kind of the important one, the master switch. This turns on everything. I didn't touch any of these other lights. That all came on by itself. And then here what we have is a pocket door for the bathroom. It's a pretty heavy pocket door, but you can see here again, the kind of the green motif, but all modern, the modern lighting and fixtures, you know, a really nice vanity here. Just, you know, simple, but uh, nicely done. And I also actually like that the bathroom isn't huge, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Looks like you have a, kind of a low and a full flush here, glass sliding doors, frosted, and then a towel all in white. And actually, no individual shampoos. It looks like it's just dispenser on the walls there, but kind of brush nickel hardware and then a plastic polyester tub bottom. I like that you've got tile here on the bathroom and then also the walkway. Now, right here, kind of have a modern looking executive chair. You also have a pullout table here, which is gonna be nice if you wanna eat, maybe over here by the couch. There's a nice little ottoman. You could actually sit up there and work. It gives you more working space, but then you also have this built-in desk, built-in bookcase up here, and even a light here, which is kind of cool. Now you also have USB ports on the wall right there. And then it looks like you can connect into the network up there, but they do have Wi-Fi. A little TV, or I should call it little, but you know, 42 inch, I'm, I'm guessing LCD. And right below it, uh, an empty dresser, which you can fill with all of your own things. And then also trash cans down there. Now I do wanna show you here, this envelope was here waiting for me and it's got my name on it. So that was actually kind of nice. I didn't actually look in it other than I was surprised that they set it up for me uh, based on the room. And so I do have a little Hershey, Hershey chocolate. And then we also have a little letter to me with just a form letter, but it's got all their stuff on it. Complimentary breakfast, fitness center, shuttle, anywhere five miles to the hotel. That's actually pretty nice. You don't even need to take an Uber if, if you don't need to. Um, Although I would say tip the, your friendly driver and then I guess some local dining and attractions. So what I did notice is there's a Red Robin that looks like it's attached to the hotel. So you could absolutely go and eat there, that's for sure. But there's a, even a grocery store like a called Farmer's Market just over the across the parking lot. So that's pretty nice too, you've got that. And then again, more workspace here. Looks like more bed linens down there. I've got the rack here, which I'll put my luggage on and then an ironing board and a little closet kind of interesting like a porcelain light fixtures you can see here I'm on the fifth floor and I could go across the street and buy a Dodge if I wanted to but we get a nice little look at Bloomington looks like there's a Target over there as well as a lot of little restaurants so you can definitely get everything you need um, nice furnishings and what I will say here is that I think this is a king-size bed just cool looking nice headboard Everything's fine. You get some power right on the nightstands, which is nice. USB, so you can charge your phone, use that as your alarm clock. Now, I'm gonna actually guess maybe that there's a pullout under here. And I am right, because there's also a divider right here. So if you're putting other people in here, you could kind of separate it and have a little bow chicka wow chow and have a little bow chicka bow wow time on one side without disturbing the other side. So it's pretty cool. I like that they're not 
poo-pooing anyone who's trying to bring down the per person cost of the hotel stay. And look at that, look at that nice looking guy there. That is a uh, piece of art that comes in all the rooms called the mirror. Anyway, hey, I like this place. I'm pretty excited about it. It's brand new here in Bloomington. Uh, I've never actually stayed here, but it's really close to where I'm gonna need to be most of the time. So I think, you know, to that alone is pretty awesome. But, you know, to have all this extra space and to sit here and be able to work, I think it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna eat that chocolate. Check it out. Home to the Bloomington, Peter Rompanda, out. Thank <laughs> you.